Hi everybody, Phil Stewart to the Hybrid Me doing a short video on golf enclosures and designs. I'm in my summery gear because the weather's beautiful, um, but I'll try and keep this as brief as possible. Uh, when you're building a simulator enclosure, if you're doing a commercial build, I recommend you go with a kit. The kit will give you a frame of some kind, it will give you the side protection, ceiling protection, it'll give you a screen, and it will give you all of the fixings, things like um, pockets to put poles through, Velcro, um, padding to pre prevent from ricochets, all of the cords and tensioning tools to make sure you get a nice even image on your screen and you'll simply be following the instructions. And for most um, commercial builds, that means it's peace of mind, you're not gonna have any issues you have to contend with um, and um, typically would be an approach to take. On the other hand, a lot of people don't have the £3,000 it may cost to build one of these enclosures or more, depending on what, uh, what type of thing you go with. Um, and they may be wanting to go down a DIY approach to save some money and a lot of my customers are doing that. Um, and in that case, you have a couple of approaches. If you have a dedicated wall for your simulator, you might want to go with a screen kit. Um, the screen kit typically will be a finished screen, um, some kind of like angle iron that will bolt onto the walls, the ceilings and down the other side. And it will come with the uh, fixings to attach your screen neatly to that frame and to be able to have padding to protect from any ricochets around the kind of edges um, of that. And all you're going to have to then do is add some ceiling and um, side protection using um, it might be foam tiles or it might be carpet to give you that protection from, um, you know, uh, sh shots that go above the screen or to the side of the screen, the dreaded shanks. Um, but again, that can be a little bit costly because it is going to be a finished product or a kit. Um, again, we do provide um, both the full enclosures uh, finished and we also can resell the um, screen kits. But if you're looking at a DIY build and saving money, you're typically going to be wanting to source your own screen that could be finished or unfinished. What is a finished screen? A finished screen typically is a screen that has reinforced edges and um, kind of hemmed and it typically will have eyelets in it to allow you to use that for fixing. How do you go about fixing those? Well, you go about sticking things like bungee, uh, ball bungees through, uh, wrap it around once or twice and it just enables you to neatly fix it at as many points as you need. How many points do you need? It all depends on the screen material. Archery screen doesn't need to be that tight. It can just kind of hang there. This is the archery screen behind. Um, and just to give you an idea of the image quality, a lot of people will use this as their kind of first build. It's very heavy duty. Um, it gives a good enough image to be able to play golf on it, knowing that you're not gonna punch a hole through it easily, um, if at all. Um, and then further down the line, you might want to add a premium material. This is type three that I supply. I'm waiting on further stock. Thick material, that just kind of hangs there. This is type two material, um, which is a fair bit cheaper, but still gives you a very um, high sharpness image and probably the best image I would say when it comes to things like gaming, um, but it's um, much cheaper than the Type 3. Um, but what about unfinished material or raw material? Um, that is just this. This is effectively just a sheet of material. It's a sheet of fabric. And how do you go about fixing um, unfinished material? Well, you can use tarp clips. Tarp clips, you just crimp the material in, fold the edges back, so you typically have two bits of material and you get a neater edge. You don't have the kind of fraying edges and you would then just push the tarp clip on. I actually prefer using these tarp clips that have a tightening screw. I'll just show you why. why. Because when you've got your screen up, if you decide to adjust it at all because it's a little bit too tight or too loose in a corner, you can simply unscrew it, decide to fold a bit more material in, in, in which case it's gonna actually make it tighter, regrip the material, Oh boy, it's easier actually when you don't have one already attached or if you actually unscrew it properly. And you would then regrip the material and that would mean it's just a little bit more tensioned in that corner. So you would just go get your screen up and then make these adjustments to uh, make sure the tensioning is how you want it. But how do you prevent ricochets on the bars because you're going down this DIY approach? If you end up using tarp clips, you end up with a bit more of a gap down the side that you want to protect, you don't really want that to be visible. So, many different ways of doing it, but firstly, to prevent the danger bar is that one on the top, the full wedges, the ones that can hit that top bar and come back like a bullet at you. Um, you can clad the pipe. My experience is cladding will reduce the ricochet, but not by enough to prevent um, any kind of risk of injury. So I don't like that approach. I would rather take the bar completely out of the equation. And that's where, um, with the side protection, you can just have the enclosure netting going over, um, and I recommend having one kind of big sheet of it that will protect everything at the back. Um, but I, um, I prevent golf balls escaping. But if you go with this kind of ripstop nylon, 
you can have this going, one piece of material going up, over the top and down the other side. Again, you could use as many fixings to get it nicely tensioned. I've only got one at the front, one there, because it's kind of a, a quick and crude design that's good enough for me. Um, and I would recommend that based upon whatever image you're projecting, um, 4, 3, 16, 9, 16, 10, get Velcro sewn into your screen. Um, you can try and attach it using um, the kind of adhesive, but it really doesn't stick very well to some screen materials. Um, it could be a bit iffy. Getting it sewn in would be the best idea. And basically frame outside of your image using Velcro along the sides and the top. Get some of the PU nylon, again, which Hybrid Me can supply, and you can attach Velcro just inside from the edge. Get that sewn in along the edge, along the top and down the edge, just inside. And effectively, all you're gonna simply do is get the uh, Velcro attaching um, together. And what that does is, when you do it neatly, will form a bond as I find a golf ball. Um, you'll then effectively have a nice little bond down the side with the Velcro attached. And it means that any shot that just goes there is gonna just ricochet um, and drop smoothly, making sure that the, goal, the bar, which is the danger, is way out of play. Now, I typically find that for my screen design, um, I've got a 1610 enclosure roughly, and I'm using a 169 projector. So I've actually got my Velcro about eight centimeters in from both sides, um, and I've actually got it 20 centimeters down from the top bar, so the top bar is way up there. To get these flaps to kind of fold in, again, there's different approaches. Simplest one is just to cut on the corner. I didn't do that very neatly, I was just hacking at it to prove the concept. Um, you would cut a neat line in to allow a flap to drop down, which you can attach along the top to give you the protection, make sure the bar is way out of play. And you then have a flap coming in at the side, which again, will just come in and attach neatly to uh, inside of your frame. Again, making sure the side bars are out of play. And that is a cheap, quick, easy way of being able to build an enclosure. Uh, DIY, all of the materials can be sourced through Hybrid Me, along with all the various mats and screens, launch monitors and various things. Um, I hope that's been useful. Um, any questions, please let me know, any comments. Um, there's many different approaches you can take. This is just one of them. And if Hybrid Me can help with any of your projects, uh, please let me know. Thank you very much. Bye.